So since it's a kind of a bridge between installers, EPCs, manufacturers and distributors, all those people can participate on the platform. What's the current, what's the old way of doing business and how does SunHub allow us to do this in a much more efficient, much, much, much more cleaner fashion? Because you don't have to worry about the quotes anymore because everything is live, inventory is live, pricing is live. How can you assure both buyers and sellers that they can do business securely on your platform? Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from InterSolar 2024, the International Solar Conference here in San Diego. And this afternoon I'm joined by Kadir Big, COO of SunHub, and we're going to be learning all about the SunHub solar trading platform. So Kadir, it's really good to meet you in person finally, and uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Oh, thanks Joe, much appreciated. Absolutely. So I, I had a chance to get a short demonstration of your product last week. But what we're talking about here with the SunHub trading platform, really unlike anything that I've seen in the solar industry, but can you tell us a little bit about how did the company get started and what is the SunHub solar trading platform? Sure. So SunHub uh, basically is a tech distribution company and it got, uh, it started uh, in 2007, uh, by the, it was a spinoff from Yellow Light. So Yellow Light has been around about 16 years and, and that's the largest installer in Ohio. And SunHub is a spinoff from that, and we started going into the e-commerce marketplace. Uh, we started that site, and in that, what happened was we started getting a lot of procurement calls on the phone call, and we started helping our customers um, where we need they needed to source equipment. While helping them, we realized that, you know, we started off with small installers looking for certain products that they couldn't find, uh, you know, and they couldn't find the inventory. And then we decided to, you know, help those guys out because we already had contacts with a lot of distributors and manufacturers. And in that process, uh, you know, we ended up forming a department because we got so many calls over time. Um, and our offline business kind of grew uh, significantly. Uh, in that case, what we did was. Uh, we actually are doing working with utility companies now that are doing 250 megawatt type of deals that we're starting to help out. And we realized that the e-commerce business and the offline business that we work with, there was gap in the industry. So that's where we coined this trading platform that came into play. Um, you know, and, and this trading platform basically is an intelligent uh, negotiation platform and I can get into it a little bit more in detail as well. Absolutely, and thank you for that. I, I'm going to have some more questions, more detailed questions about the features and functions, but if you could first, just at a high level, can you walk us through what is a typical scenario where somebody would want to be on your platform looking to source, to, to, to buy solar equipment, and then maybe walk us through a similar scenario where somebody would, needs to get on your platform because they have equipment or inventory that they would like to, right. to liquidate? So since it's a kind of a bridge between installers, EPCs, manufacturers and distributors, all those people can participate on the platform. So people who are selling can sell on the platform as well as people who are looking to procure equipment. And people who have excess inventory as well because we allow for new and used equipment as well. So the way it works is from a supplier perspective, they can go on there, they could, uh, if they have panels and things like that, and currently in the industry, if you look at it from an e-commerce perspective or other areas, most people don't have like live inventories, uh, you know, uh, ability to basically negotiate terms, payment terms. So the platform allows all that to be online for, for, for a lot of the people, and it engages them in terms of getting Basically, if you have access to direct access to suppliers, uh, it provides that uh, you know for, for, for the industry that they that they have difficulty, especially if they're a small player, they don't can't negotiate or or go after the equipment what's out there, and also go after inventory that's off of the future production as well, where they could get better rates. So, for example, if you look at an installer, they may they may want to get something and a supplier who may be having a ca the cash flow may be tight they may give you a better deal uh, you know uh, if you have a higher down payment so those things are all possible on the platform that generally if you go on an e-commerce site those are not negotiable items yeah. interesting interesting and i understand that there's also some solar specific terms in the, in the bidding system where you can specify different uh, tariffs potentially different tariff uh, structures um, and you can do bidding on a price per watt basis, is that correct? Exactly, which is the first in the industry that in the solar industry, if you look at the solar panels, most in, in the industry what people do is online people are selling by pieces when you go out there. But if you look at the industry as we're at the show, uh, you know, everybody who negotiates and procures equipment, they're planning their projects by kilowatts and megawatts and things like that. And people are 
pricing it by that as well. And what the platform allows people to do is actually purchase price per watt, you know, which is actually the first industry, and as well as it allows people to negotiate in that, and also the terms that you mentioned, the inco terms, payment terms, delivery terms, all those things are all negotiable items on the platform, and it actually generates a contract automatically between the two parties. It's, a, it's also a moderated platform. Excellent. So how, how is this, I mean, because this, this to me sounds disruptive, right? Can you walk me through what's the what's the current state of the art? Assuming SunHub didn't exist, what's the current what's the old way of doing business, and how does SunHub allow us to do this in a much more efficient, much 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 more cleaner fashion? Sure. So I'll give you a little analogy how various industries kind of evolved over time. So let's take an example of like the travel industry. So I remember my dad in the old days, he always had a travel agent that he used to call, and and that industry evolved because if you look at the travel. Uh, distribution system came out of it, which they call TDS, which is Galileo and all that. And most uh, consumers don't know that because they know about Expedia and platforms like that, right, that they purchased, but they came around much later. What happened is a, a need for a central system needed to be there where the airlines could publish their seating arrangements in the language that the customers are used to in that industry. So in the industry for the travel, people needed to know first class, coach, you know, if they could check in baggage, if it was included, very specific industry terms, which the Solar has as well. But people used to pick up a phone and call the travel agent to book, and if a travel agent gave a price, say for example, you know, they gave certain, uh, you know, listings for them, a six in the morning clock flight, but, you know, a person would say, give me the cheapest, right? But for $10 more, they could get a noon flight, which most people would be willing to pay the $10 extra to be more convenient, but they wouldn't get that option. But the, the industry evolved where the online systems came on. Now they could see all these transactions, the pricing, and they may be willing to pay for a better advantage. You know, like in, in a solar industry, that could be, you know, logistics, right? If it's delivered, you know, we may pay differently. Maybe if you pay a higher down payment, you may get a better price. All those options are available to consumers that, you know, on a phone call would be very difficult to get a quote to see if the inventory is there or not, all those type of things, you know, when they get manufactures. So as the industry evolves, solar industry is in that position where people still do a lot of procurement through phone calls. And I think this is kind of a, you know, an area that needs to evolve where a lot of automation is happening and people can actually conduct these, facilitate these transactions very more efficiently time consuming wise because you don't have to worry about the quotes anymore because everything is live. Inventory is live, pricing is live, you know, things that if the pricing is changing in the industry, if you look at the industry where, you know, uh, what do you call, when the like coronavirus hit, a lot of the supply chain got disrupted and the prices increased. But the suppliers eventually solved that problem and the prices decreased from the suppliers, but the distributors still had it at a higher price. But here, because people have access directly to suppliers, they would see that change live. You know, so there are certain advantages where the industry would benefit and I think they would gravitate towards it. Yeah, absolutely. It just sounds like a more efficient way of doing business, mm -hmm. like other other you know online auction-based marketplaces. You know, connecting buyers and sellers with the least amount of friction and overhead as possible. So, is one how example it I'll give you is on the lot trade show I was here. Uh, you know, I, I ran across an EPC company and owner of it, and I was talking about the platform to them. And I always thought, like, maybe there's a, you know, the, the platform everybody's used to, like, every, you know, the old, elder people, and he was, like, in the 70s. And basically, so I thought when I'm pitching him the technology solution, you know, he may be hesitant in, in working from his phone call way. But when I was done, the guy goes, I am tired of calling people. So, you know, he wanted to do when the, you know, the business online. And it's like that where people are moving to do it a little bit more efficient. And I think people will eventually gravitate towards it and conduct business that way. Excellent, excellent. Now, I know a, a concern that a number of folks are going to have out there when you're talking about transacting online, especially transacting at the transaction sizes, yeah. what you're talking about here, security is going to be an issue. Yeah. How can you assure both buyers and sellers that they can do business securely on your platform? Excellent, excellent question. So we have a couple of things. When, one of the things is any supplier on our platform is a verified supplier. So we actually go out there and verify the legitimacy of the company and all that before they actually publish. So we have a process when somebody lists, we have an approval process before we publish it to the site. And, and then we also, it's a moderated platform, right? So the contracts that are being signed are between the buyer and SunHub and SunHub and, and the supplier. So we always, so there's always a guarantee for both parties that whatever agreement they're coming in, you know, the funds transfers and all that, we're moderating that and, and, and we help people achieve that. Great, great.
Now, one of the impressions that I'm getting here, and, and maybe I'm misunderstanding, but it does seem that this technology has the potential to sort of disintermediate the, the, the distributor in the process if you're going to be connecting suppliers yeah. and, 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 um, and consumers or installers directly. Yeah. Are there any advantages for distributors to participate on the platform as well, no, or, or is it just taking them out of the picture? No, that's a great question. No, it's not. The thing is, I've realized, uh, being in this industry for a while, it's a very friendly industry. So even when we conduct our business today, you know, there, the competition from a supplier perspective, like sometimes we sell to distributors, sometimes we buy from distributors, that's the nature of the business. So everybody's kind of partnered up together. So even today on our platform, from a supplier perspective, we have distributor selling, because for them it's another channel to, to reach a broader audience, right? And as well, us, you know, from a, from a, we all like to onboard distributors as much as possible because they carry inventory. So the idea is to expose, you know, people with the greatest inventory possible and the greatest selection possible on our platform, and everybody can participate. Excellent, excellent. So let's say that they're a supplier out there, maybe they're a, they're a commercial EPC solar uh, installer out there. If they want to get signed up on the SunHub or just try out the SunHub platform, yeah. or maybe even browse what's available yeah. uh, for sale, how can they get started? So one thing I, I guess I want to mention to the, you know, the audience out there, there is no fees on the platform. So we don't charge any subscription fees or anything like that. It is, uh, you know, so it's easy to get on. Uh, there's a lot of literature on it itself. When you go out there, one of the things is you have to just create an account. So once you create an account, if you're listing or buying, you have the ability to do that. So imagine it's like an eBay platform where you go out there and if you're actually an installer in EPC, you could go out there and make a bid, you can negotiate, it's like a chat, intelligent chat-based interface. So if anybody's used to the WhatsApp type of application, you negotiate pretty much on a chat-like manner and the terms get updated because you moderate the platform and people can conduct and it automatically generates a whole full contract for, for the parties. And uh, one thing I guess last I'd say for the supplier perspective, we have a lot of helper tools on it. So when you list, a lot of the products are already engaged, so we have a lot of the data sheets. Uh, so when you enter a part number, it auto fills the rest of the product details out for you. Uh, so it leaves you but basically kind of pricing it and uh, you know entering your quantity on hand you have. And everything else about the product, the specs and all that are already pre-filled for you, so it makes it very easy to list a product. Great, and in terms of the type of products, is it just solar modules or is it is it inverters, other BOS? What what type of products are being traded currently? So we last, uh, I guess, when we launched our last RE, we started off with the solar panels, and uh, at this event, we are announcing that we have batteries and inverters as well capability. So as we go along, we'll keep on adding different modules to the system that people can do because each requires a different spec sheets and different way of handling it, and we're introducing it as we go along. And right now you could do panels, batteries, and inverters. Excellent. So folks, again, this has been an introduction to SunHub and the SunHub uh, solar energy marketplace, an automated marketplace, uh, kind of like an, an auction basically, right? Yes. An automated auction-based uh, marketplace for buyers and sellers of solar equipment. Um, Kadir, is there anything else that the audience should know about SunHub? Um, I mean, there are, one of the things I guess is for people who are interested in it, they could go out there and, and book a demo on our site uh, and we can walk through any of the details. The other areas that SunHub does is we provide a lot of community related services as well. You know, you could sign up for our newsletter. Uh, you know, we also send any kind of special deals in a newsletter. We reach out to over 30,000 people in the industry on a weekly basis. So sign up if you're interested in what the trends are happening and things like that. We also publish a blog and we also have a forum that we help the community with any kind of questions that they can talk to you amongst each other as well. So some additional things that they could leverage aside from the trading platform. That's great, that's great. And I like what you said there earlier too, because solar, even though solar is a highly competitive industry, it is a friendly industry. Yeah. And in fact, a lot of the folks that we see here that have been here for a while, you see they're at one company one year, they're at another exactly. company yeah. uh, the next. So it is sort of a small community of us here that are really, really committed to yeah. the industry. Yeah. And uh, I think folks, this is just another, another step towards maturing here in the solar industry, how we buy, sell, and trade uh, solar equipment, including on the secondary market for used equipment as well. Uh, well, folks, this has just been a brief introduction to the SunHub solar trading platform. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. That's just going to tell YouTube and the platforms to show this content to more people. Uh, and also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with all the latest information. Well, I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared.
and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.